I'm Jesse Holmes Jr., a.k.a. Jesse the Messenger from McKinney, Texas, home of the McKinney Lions. That's what's up, go Lions. I'm a motivational speaker, I'm a minister, I'm a spoken word artist, I'm a poet. I'm the eldest of three brothers, and I have a passion to ignite a fire up under all those I come in contact with. Because I believe if we're authentically unique, we can give the world the greatest blessing that they've never known by interacting with us. Well, my passion comes from my life, you know. My life was one of those, I was a church kid, you know. I was raised in church, and uh, everyone thought I was the perfect one, and I did it all right. For the most part, I did when everyone was looking. But yet, I found out I had my own demons I had to deal with. I had my own difficulties in life I had to deal with. And when I found myself becoming a father at a very young age, I realized now I had to grow up and be a real man. I didn't know how to do that, but I had to observe men, and the greatest man I was observing was my father. And with that, I felt like if I observed him, things would go smooth in life, and I found out it wasn't as smooth as I thought. So my passion and my desire comes from looking at how to become a man. And so I start mimicking and doing those things that I saw grown men do, not knowing that was a strategic plan of how to be a real man. And so now that I've come in contact with uh, my purpose and my drive in life, I realize there's something in our culture that needs to be uh, displayed on a greater level and it only comes through personal contact and personal conversation. And so my desire and my passion comes from those things that I've learned how to be a young man and how to stay in touch with your purpose regardless of the difficulties in life that come your way. I believe it's important for people to understand what their purpose is for in that, that's where they'll find pure joy. And in your purpose, you'll find out what you're really here to do. And you'll find out when you identify with your purpose, it is a unselfish act of kindness toward others. It's to be a blessing to the world. And unless you connect with that, you'll find yourself among most men miserable. But you'll find people living a life just upset and jealous and envious. It's because they hadn't connected with their purpose. But once they connect with their purpose, they'll realize and they identify with it. They'll realize it's something they've been doing all along. They just didn't know how to connect with it. So once you help someone identify with their purpose, you'll find out that'll be a person that is most blissful in life. And they'll be one of those people that you'll wonder, how did they get from where they are to where they wanted to be? It's because of identifying and connecting with their purpose in life. I believe I'm able to connect with the audience because I believe in being authentically unique. I believe to be a cookie cutter and a carbon copy of anything else is shortchanging the world of a blessing that they could really experience by you being authentically unique. There is no one else in the world like you. No one else in the world can do what you do, although they may be doing the same thing you're talking about doing. But when God created us, he only created one person. And there's no two fingerprints in the world the same. So it tells me there's something unique about each individual. And once you help someone to identify with that, they will find themselves living a life so blissful. So I'm able to connect with the audience because I help them to understand it's okay to be different. Your difference makes a difference in the world. Your difference makes a difference. You get that? It makes a difference in the world. And once people realize there's nothing wrong with them being different, then they can give to the world their unique talents and gifts that as God ordained. God gave us all different gifts and talents. And some people realize now that their difference is the thing that causes them to be seen through different lenses, through different people in their lives. So I'm able to connect because I believe in being authentically unique. The motto I live by for my life is RPM. That's an acronym for Radical, Powerful, and Motivational. Radical because I don't live according to the status quo of the world's thinking. Powerful because I've identified with who I've been created to be and I'm operating in it. Motivational because as people are drawn to me, I then turn them towards the creator so they too can be empowered to live the same life. Radical, powerful, motivational is for anybody. It doesn't matter whether you're a businessman. It doesn't matter whether you're a minister. It doesn't matter whether you're on a landscape company. Every day you got to wake up to be radical, powerful, and motivational because someone needs to experience the gift that you have. Someone needs to be able to uh, uh, be blessed by the business 
business that you have. And unless you take that mindset, no one in this world will be able to identify with who you are in your authentic uniqueness that you've been created with.